Hi there, welcome back. It's David here, davidfroslick.com. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about growing your audience and how you can build your profile or even get your products and your services out there on the web. Some of you will probably have a great idea, a new idea. You've even maybe completed a product. You just don't know how to get that moving and get some sales going. Um, but some of you will probably have a great idea. You've set it in your head. You know what you're going to do and you're going to start working on your, your new business idea or your new model. This should give you a little bit of a kickstart on how you can sort of start growing your audience and getting, getting yourself out there. Now, I sent this to my email subscribers just before Christmas time and I got quite a good response back from people. It's just a little breakdown, a real quick mini course. But I'm going to give it to you the same way but really in a video format. So if you... Um, have products and services ready and you've already completed them you could be you know you could be a fitness coach you could run your own business you might run a hair salon you might be you know a recruiter you could run your own small cheese shop wine shop whatever it is if you've already got your product or services complete and you're just trying to push them and grow your audience then this little process will work okay this little process will help you get yourself out there and start building up your uh, your email list or building your database of customers so idea number one is create yourself a little mini course. Now, no matter what business you're in, there's probably some room for some kind of educational training course, some little course. It could be videos just like this. It could be um, a, uh, like a PDF document that people download. So it could be a course broken down in you know, four or five pages, mini report or something, some kind of mini course where you can educate them or train them and give them real good value about the service or the product that you sell, okay? So keep that in mind. Everything is about educating your audience about your products and your services. So a mini course, it could be a four part video series. It could be a seven part mini series delivered over seven days, like my course on my site. It could be something the way you're offering value and it's delivered over a long period of time or a short period of time, whatever it is, just create a mini course, okay? Um, seven days is not really that long. It's enough, it's enough time for someone to get to know you and it's also enough time sort of to keep everything short and sweet where they can digest what they're learning. And if you start, if you create a mini course, which is so overwhelming, you're probably gonna overwhelm your audience on you know what it is you're trying to educate them about. So keep it short and sweet, something of value. So mini course, create a mini course, right? Once you've got the mini course, you're going to need a squeeze page. So by squeeze page, what we need, what we mean is a an area where people can put their name and email address on the website to get it, to get access to your mini course. Okay, so you need a squeeze page set up, some kind of website, basically where someone puts in their name and email. Okay, so the reason we do this is because it builds your email list. Okay, this is going to be one of your best marketing tools for telling people about your products and services that you've already got complete and you want to sell. Okay. So reason we do this, we've got a mini course, set up the squeeze page so we can build our email list. Now, what you should be thinking about doing is back to this whole content marketing thing and then start creating content, okay? Start creating good, valuable content which you can put out and email your customers about. So, <clears throat> excuse me, even I say customers, they're probably prospects initially. So if you create good content, and it could be anything, blog posts, videos, you know, training, how-to articles. Once you post some good content on the web, you can send them an email now because you've already collected their email, okay? So you can tell them about the new stuff that you're putting out there. And if they're, you know, if they're the right, if you're targeting the right people, they'll want to know about the new content that you're putting out there, okay? So you create content and that can be, you know, podcasts, it can be PowerPoint presentations, recording the computer screen, anything like that. Just some good, valuable content and get it out there consistently. Okay, so once you've created that content, obviously you've got to publish it, so you pick your platform. Now, whether you're gonna publish it on your own website or you're gonna put it onto a social media fan page, you know, pick a platform to start with where you just start getting that content out there. Um, obviously, having your own website, you have more control over it. You know, if these social media sites close down and you've been putting content on there and you've got no way of getting it back, um, having your own website is a bit more control, okay? So either way, just pick a platform and start putting that content out there that you start creating. Um, next thing is, I've put a starter funnel, which I mean by that is start some kind of sales funnel, okay? So um, if you hear this word quite a lot, sales funnel, you'll hear it in marketing, especially in the IM industry. You hear people talk about sales funnels, but this can be applied cleverly to any business, okay? So it's really just a case of getting someone into your email list if you're starting to sell them a course or you want to sell them something. But it's um, a start of a funnel can actually be, you know, the the first engagement that you make with people, okay? This could be the first point of contact where you start 
tell them about your content. Okay, so you publish. I've said start a funnel. So start a funnel, and obviously, <clears throat> excuse me, the start of your funnel will probably be a squeeze page. Okay, so that's by that I'll be just, they'll be opting in without obviously knowing it. They're falling into a sales funnel, some kind of process, maybe. Okay, so whether you choose to do that. I know it sounds a bit, um, it, it's not devious, you're not trying to trick them into it. Really what you want to do is educate them enough about your products and your services, okay? So that's what we mean by funnel, uh, funnel, sorry. Automate, automate is the next part. Once you create your mini course and you create your, some content and you, maybe your mini course is seven, you know, seven videos long. Once you create the, um, the process, once you put the content out there, you want to automate the process of delivering that. Okay, so if someone signs up to your email list, they join your email list, you then want to automate the delivery of your content. Okay, and that this can go on for a much, much longer time. There's people who have automated follow-up emails that just go on and on, and based on particular actions that someone takes in the email, they'll move them around different sequences. Okay, so it's getting quite technical, but you can have email platforms that have multi multiple sequences based on different agendas or different actions that a user takes now you might not know this but sometimes if you get a marketing email from you know a big fashion company you're making particular clicks on your email you might be clicking on something you know which they've said and you go to their website and see it but while you've been clicking on that they'll be tracking what you've clicked on you've just gone to the website to see what it was but if they're doing it cleverly they'll be tracking that click to find out what you're doing and where you're going and then they may even be putting you into another marketing sequence okay so that's where it comes quite clever when you start automating this process, okay? Now, next, I've put repeat. By repeat, I mean, <clears throat> let's take that off there, repeat, great content. Keep producing great content every week, day, however often you put it out there. I would recommend getting something out there every week, even getting in touch with the audience maybe twice a week and just educating them, again, telling them about the new stuff you're doing and what you're working on or the content you're putting out there. So make sure you repeat this whole content creation process. This is gonna be the hardest part of you know, putting out content and growing your audience and growing your business. And if you do this right and you put out great content, you'll hopefully be targeting the correct people who'll be coming back and finding and learning about your products and your services, which you've already completed, okay? Um, one way you can quickly, quickly speed up the whole process of building and growing your audience is by getting traffic, okay? Now, if you have an internet business, that is one word you're gonna hear of and probably drive you mad, and it's such a big topic, but it's, you know, it's over missed by people. They don't, they don't focus enough time on that. Obviously, one real way to speed up this whole process is running some ads online, and <clears throat> with them ads, you would just send them directly to that squeeze page. One thing I would say is if you're gonna go and spend ads, you wanna make sure you're really targeting your audience, okay? Don't just go and run an advert on Facebook or Google. And if, it, if it's just a squeeze page, if you're sending ads directly to a squeeze page, go onto Facebook and do that, okay? But don't just go and start an ad and just send it out and set your budget for 10, 10 bucks a day or whatever. You wanna make sure you're targeting your audience. You wanna know who your audience is before you start running some ads. Um, but this is a real good way, ads, a real good way to start traffic okay so that's really the video based off the email that i sent my subscribers if you follow this little process and you get some good automation in place once you start putting traffic and you're pouring the traffic into your squeeze page or even into your sales funnel the automation process of delivering your mini course and delivering more content will help you build and grow your audience now whether they're coming onto your fan page or they're going onto your email list Personally, I would say get onto your email list because you can have more direct you know, interaction. You can email them straight away and say, there's a new article posted on my blog, go and watch it, or whatever, there's a new video on my YouTube channel, go and see it. Um, but that's really it. If you follow that kind of process, get into, get into sort of the method of automation, automating everything that you can do when it comes to delivering you know, your mini course. So if you've got these products finished, you've done that, start a little mini course maybe to promote these products and then just follow this whole little sequence through, okay? Um, another video I'm gonna cover, this whole sales funnel thing and how it works and the, how you can automate you know, the whole process, even using a service like Aweber. And 
creating content, we're covering that in another video on how you can create content, some ideas for content creation, okay? So thanks for watching this video. David here from davidfrosick.com. Make sure you come over to my blog, subscribe to my email list there, or subscribe to this YouTube channel if you want to get more updates and when I put out new videos. Thanks again for watching.